Our two features today is surrounding that. We've got two amazing young ladies who are championing some, some good cause and doing some good things. And uh, we wanted to shed light on them. Our first feature um, is a young lady by the name of Ioana, Ioana Leo. And she's got a multifaceted sort of thing going on there. She's into the CMOS business, but she's also into the kids educational side of things um, where she's finding creative ways to teach the Creole to our young ones. <laughs> well, we're here with you on the layer, a mom, a wife, an entrepreneur, um, an employee. She is a multifaceted young woman. I've had the privilege of knowing her beyond this, and um, it's just who she is, you know. So um, I, I really do think that having her here this morning is, is a source of inspiration because a lot of the time as young people, as people in general, we procrastinate. We sit around and we wait for things to come to us. Um, she's a perfect example of not waiting on one source, but definitely spreading her wings as, as much as she can wherever she finds an avenue. And um, I think that's 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 worthy of highlighting. How are you? <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, Marine. Good morning, St. Lucia. Absolutely. Now, you wanna we have five minutes to fit everything in there. We mentioned <laughs> the fact that you're a mom, an active mom, very, very present mom. Um, you're also a very present wife. Um, you're an employee, but you have or your stuff, which is, which, which is, I think, this fuels you because you're all a very passionate person in terms of going after what it is you want. So we have a little table in front of us. I see in gibbets, I see in all well, the books. We expect that because you're very, very um, adamant about education and ensuring that, you know, children are being fed the right thing. I know that for a fact. Um, but I see that little thing in the background there what sort of throw me off because I would have never thought you would have gone into that um, form of business. So you got to go into it for us this morning. Explain it. Um, what do we have on the table? What is going on? Um, where is this heading? Where are we with it now? And I know I could just throw this off and you can go, go with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so let's start in the front. Um, I have gibbets. Mm -hmm. These are better known as croc pins. So like they're the decoration pins that you put on your crocs. And crocs are so popular these yes. days. So these gibbets are St. Lucian themed. I have two designs for now. Others are on the way. Um, mm -hmm. So for now, I have a Peter's design mm -hmm. and a St. Lucia map with the flag incorporated Aww. into it. So it just gives us as St. Lucians, St. Lucians in St. Lucia, um, people in the diaspora, and even tourists visiting, mm -hmm. an opportunity to rep St. Lucia on their crocs. People Absolutely. go everywhere with their crocs, you know. Yes, yeah. So <laughs> it's just a way to rep St. Lucia. Um, Independence is coming up, so people head out, get your croc, um, get your St. Lucia gibbets. They're available at um, the Croc store in Baywalk, mm, um, nice. the Croc store at Point Seraphin. Wow. They're available at Noah's Arcade on the airport, Uranora, and I'm working on a couple of the outlets. You could also Wonderful. follow me on my social media pages, which I'll mention soon. In fact, it's SACSA, SAC underscore SA758 right. on Instagram. Right. Um, the books, which are more established, they've been around for the last probably three years. Um, they teach Creole to kids in an easy oh. and fun way. Um, so I'm going to confess that I'm not the best Creole speaker around. Okay. But um, when my first daughter was two, mm -hmm. I taught her how to chase some pet chickens that we had. That's a whole other story. <laughs> but uh, I taught her how to chase them and tell them, um, sorti la. Right, mm -hmm. and that too, she picked that up so easily. It was so natural ah, for her. Right. That kind of gave me the idea of, you know, we could make a better effort at teaching kids Creole. Right. So I created these coloring books and activity books. And wow. just for a quick summary, what I've basically done is I have linked a Creole word for each letter of the alphabet. Uh, so on the first edition of the book, I have a very St. Lucian word. So it's called Saxa, the For the Culture edition. Mm -hmm. So I have a St. Lucian type word for each letter. So for example, instead of B for ball, I have B for boape, ah, which is B for oh, breadfruit, bread right? Fruit. C for yeah. chatine, which is oh, bread nut. D geez. for diteka ko, right? And oh. then there's a picture to color and a little activity for the kids wow. to do. Um, in the second edition, I call that one Saxa a core the Tuleju edition, which means the everyday edition, okay. I kind of flipped it. So I have an everyday word for each letter. So I have A for apple, mm -hmm. then I have the Creole word pom, right? Ah. A picture to color. I also have pronunciation prompts in there. So even if you have no knowledge of Creole, you could be, once you could speak and read English, 
and you know the pronunciation of English letters, you'll be able to say wow. the words, right? This is, this is innovative. This is lovely. <laughs> yeah, I try, wow. I try. Oh, and so what has been the response for the words? Oh, the response for the books have been, it's been pretty good. I can't complain. They're also carried at um, Noah's Arcade on the airport and MNC Drug oh, Stores lovely. island-wide. Um, the ultimate goal would be to get it into schools. Into schools. When and if Creole is actually introduced into the schools. When, I think when. All right. So, um, when. <laughs> yeah, when. So that's, that's the ultimate goal. Because really and truly, it makes learning Creole for the kids very, very easy. Very easy. And it's fun. And it's a whole lot of fun oh that's great <laughs> now let's go to the part that i am a little bit yeah a little bit thrown off by all right is that thrown off. Off? a little excited that's a, little a little excited yeah thrown off because i said okay it looks like drinks and then i'm like okay i, I that i could i i place with you this is me being probably not fully knowing you personally okay. but these i link uh the drinks are probably the drinks. Okay. right so the <laughs> drinks are my newest the mm -hmm. drinks are my newest um, product, and they are a line of coffee sea moss drinks. Aye. Right? So, Senushen sea moss seems to be legendary worldwide, and coffee is a daily drink for some people, right? Absolutely. So, what I have here is um, three coffee sea moss drinks. I have one without milk, so right. I call it black coffee sea moss. So, okay. if you're lactose intolerant or you just don't like milk, you can use this that one. one. You could you. probably add in your own almond milk or coconut milk or whatever you choose. Mm -hmm. Then I have a mocha chino sea moss, which is the green label. So that is um, coffee, sea moss, chocolate, and milk. Mm -hmm. And then I have a cappuccino sea moss, which nice. is a coffee, sea moss, milk, right? Nice. Um, these are under the brand She Brews. It's mm -hmm. still under my Saxa brand, but the line of drinks is called She Brews because, right. you know, coffee is a brewed drink. It's female Absolute. owned. Um, but yeah, it's it's absolutely delicious. You should try it. Um, I've appeared at the Taiwanese Expo and the Sandals events and the feedback has been great so far. Right. I'm working on getting it into into supermarkets, but, you know, have a good look at it now. And when you see it on the shelves, yes. pick it up, give it a try. I'm sure you'll love it. Wonderful. OK, we've got a wrap up, you know, but, you know, for, as a young entrepreneur, um, someone who is balancing all of these uh, as, as a St. Lucian woman, mm -hmm. um, what is it like? And, and on what sort of inspiration can you throw out there to other persons um, um, who's probably a little stagnant in there? Okay, so <laughs> what I'd simply say is if you want to do it, don't overthink. You know, a lot of people, yeah. we tend to overthink. You get stopped by what I call analysis paralysis. You're sitting there thinking about everything and what could go wrong, what would yeah. you do, how would you handle it. But don't overthink it. Just start. Just start. And a personal mantra that I live by, I'm not afraid to be bad at something. Right. right? I give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? A little embarrassment, worst case, but yeah. just Aww, move on. Just, just try. So that's the inspiration I use for myself, and that's what I could share with you. Thank you so much, Ruana. And like again, the, the um, website where we can find all of your, your, your stuff, we can yeah. find the drinks. If we want to get some now, it's not yet in supermarket, how can we get it? You just Call give you. me a shot. Yeah, give me yeah. A yeah. So you could, you could get me online um, on Instagram at sak, S -A -K, underscore sa, S-A, 758, or on Facebook at the same name. So sak, sa. sa. And I mean, if you see me anywhere, don't be afraid to stop me. I'm usually well stocked, so you could get it from me. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, Yuan, and all pleasure. the best, man. We want to see this grow, really, really grow. For this, for sure, we want to see it in the schools. Right. And you now promised me to go and get a Crocs. Now, I didn't own one, but I'm going to get one. Yeah, you definitely And fill them up with, with those. Should. And I have some really new should. designs coming, so look out for them. Absolutely. In time for the um, independence? Yes. Wonderful. Well, we look forward to it. This is Yuana. Go check her out, Saxa, on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Give us feedback as well. <laughs>
Tell me about your your biz your your business. When did you start this? It's it's all skincare, all natural, all natural, right. all organic. When did you skincare. start? What prompted this? Initially, when um, I started Elegante, which was in two thousand twenty twenty two. Mm -hmm. November 2022, I already had a passion for natural skincare products. Okay, your skin is gorgeous, by the way. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> so, around the age of 21, 22, so I started making my own soaps because I okay. found out about the benefits of getting your skin all natural. Mm -hmm. And I think around that time as well, JLo had this campaign. Was it JLo? No. Was in jail. Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. That was all natural, right? skincare, all natural skincare, skincare. Where she stopped wearing makeup and so yes. forth. So I was like, you know what? I need to get into that craze and see how that would benefit me. Mm -hmm. So I started making my own soaps. And then through the hustle and bustle of getting a job and so forth, I stopped. However, when I had my daughter three years ago, mm -hmm. she was born with eczema. <gasps> so I started, I'm like, okay, so I need to get all natural soaps for her, but how am I going to get the right type of soap? Mm -hmm. So I started calling everybody I could, all of the natural handmade soaps makers in St. Mm -hmm. And then I realized I couldn't get exactly what I wanted. I was using Glory Cedar, mm -hmm. and I was also using oats as they suggested. Uh -huh. But from all of the Googling I did, I realized that the best type of oatmeal mm -hmm. for her eczema uh -huh. was collodial oats. Okay. So when I call them up, to find out, okay, awesome, so you're making oat soap. Mm -hmm. Does it have honey? Not really. What percent, or if they had honey, the percentage was low. Mm -hmm. And also, what kind of oats are you using in the soap? Mm -hmm. Then I found out it was store-bought oats, ah. which would not be effective. Right. So that's how the soup bar was born. Okay. So I infused all bunch um, nettle tea, green tea, chamomile tea, with the collodial oats, mm -hmm. with the honey, mm -hmm. with the calendula flower, and that's, created the soup bar. That's a loaded skin. bar. <laughs> it, is, it is crazy, I know. <laughs> that's, is that what we're talking about here? Is this that the is, one? This is the soup bar right here. Wow. Okay, and that works for, for your daughter. It works very well. So now as I stop using it for more like three months, because she likes to experiment with the other soaps as well. Right. She likes so the salt bar. That pushed you there, and you, you, you got to that point. That but is that correct. was you looking out for your daughter. That is correct. So how did it get transformed into a business now? So a friend of mine, she owns Nail Tainusha. She mm -hmm. was making Christmas packages. Okay. And she's like, Kish, I know you make soap. Can you make specific Christmas soaps for me? So she wanted coconut soap, pumpkin soap, and gingerbread soap. Mm -hmm. And I'm like okay damn i should probably consider taking this big time yes. so after i making these soaps i made the decision okay i'm going to go into making all natural skincare products right. and that's how elegante claire because mm -hmm. my daughter's name is claire cosmetics oh. was born right so for you've transitioned from soap i see we have body butters and we sugar have scrubs. scrubs yes right so these are the three products that is on under the brand for now i'm currently formulating lip balms <gasps> Oh yes, we need that. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Shampoo bars and conditioner bars. But for me, it's all about testing. So I do a right. lot of testing and experimenting first, and then I put the products out. Right. What, what, what makes, well, apart from the fact that you source the, the very best, mm -hmm. um, when you are looking to put in your product together, mm -hmm. what stands out? What do you want to achieve? I definitely want to get some kind of St. Lucian twist in it, mm -hmm. because it is St. Lucian. Um, locally made mm -hmm. and I want to ensure it's of the highest quality as well. Mm -hmm. I want to tell Marina if you use the beauty bar mm -hmm. because it has moringa and turmeric in it, mm -hmm. you will definitely get a better glow mm -hmm. and it'll help to tighten up your skin. Really? I want you to use the soap and see a difference immediately. Right. So when I do pop-up shops, what I do is I actually allow people, clients, to use the products right there and they get to see and feel the difference on their hands immediately. Right. As it sounds right now, are you, are you, how, how extensive are you? Are you in the so stores? Are you in the shops? Where can we find your products? Currently, no. Okay. So if you want to source my products, you can always check me on Instagram, Facebook, right. WhatsApp me. And if you just Google Elegant Take Like Cosmetics, mm -hmm. you will see the contact number and all the information you need to contact me right there. Well, you definitely up the alley of a food blown business. What is the response for people who have already used? What has been the response? Everybody who love who has used the products, mm -hmm. they love them. And everybody meaning, where's your biggest clientele right now? 
personal everyday, folks ev or hotels? everyday people everyday people and yes i have a few villas that i customize soaps for wonderful you said we can find you where can we find you elegante claire uh, cosmetics right on instagram that's right simple Paste as that, that. So and your like number, that. if you would like to call, it's on the Two eight five 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 four four. Two eight five 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 four. Mm -hmm. All right, Claire, we're about to go on, do some B-roll because we we see you have a big bar there that's about to be chopped up. That's we want right. to see how the magic happens. So Not we're going to take problem. some B-roll from that as well. But certainly check her out. I'm going to be sampling some of those. So I'll probably give you some feedback as well. <laughs> Thank you. You're And welcome. all the best. All the best. Thank you. Good morning everyone and welcome to this morning's Soka Size session. Leading the wine is Laurianne Sushan, Shani Victorine, Sarah Alexander and Vunel Augustine. Let's get ready to wine. For this morning's workout we will be doing a wine and tone routine to Just Just by Lucidi. Let's go! Roll it, click, in, in, roll, in, in, roll, in, in, roll, in, twist. Drop off your body and dance, quick, Rum in quick, head, boom, slow. Plus, quick, quick, Why not quick, ting, ting, slow. Ting, 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 Champion Three, bubble, bing, 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 bing. Waist, touch, bend, touch. Uh -huh. Girl, you have me tempted to touch. Four. Tight jeans, you had a bump on top. Tight jeans, you had a bump for joining us for this morning's workout we hope you are feeling sexy, sexy sultry and strong have a wonderful day and i hope some way somehow our features would have inspired you today to go on out and be awesome and uh, if there's a project or something that you've been putting on the back burner for some time now maybe you were inspired enough to get up and start putting that first step in motion enjoy the rest of your week and join us again tomorrow right here for another dbs this morning mm -hmm.